a Dwight Clow here, Inner Wealth. I want to share a little thought uh, with you from Luke chapter 8. Uh, in this chapter we read the story of the woman who had a, a bleeding issue, a physical problem, and uh, she comes to Jesus and uh, anyway just to set the scene, Jesus is on his way to raise the daughter of the synagogue ruler uh, Jairus, Jairus's daughter from the dead. And the crowds are all around him, pressing in on him. And in this crowd is this woman, and her thought is, I just want to touch the edge of Jesus' uh, clothing, and if I touch just the edge of his clothes, I will be healed. And so she worms her way through the crowd, and she touches his, uh, uh, his clothing, and she's instantly healed. She knows inside that she's healed. And um, anyway, to further set this up, she had spent all of her money going from doctor to doctor to doctor. None of them could help. I mean, she was destitute and desperate. And she was at the end of her rope. And it's at that point that she comes to Jesus. And so anyway, what does Jesus do? He immediately senses that something has happened. And so he stops. And, you know, talk about something urgent. I mean, the last word is that Jairus' daughter is on the brink of death. Uh, and so he needs to get there right away. And so talk about an urgent situation. But he, it, Jesus stops and uh, he says, uh, who touched me? And his disciples say, Jesus, look around. There's a crowd here. Everybody's touching you. But Jesus says, no, somebody touched me. I felt healing power go out from me. And then the woman, realizing that she uh, uh, couldn't get away with doing this below the radar, comes out and tells Jesus the whole story. And Jesus says, daughter, go in peace. Uh, your faith has healed you. Um, so what's the point? What's the point of this whole story? I think one of the biggest points is this. In this woman, you have a picture of nearly everybody you meet. You have a picture of the people that sit beside you in church, and you have a picture most likely of yourself. I mean, all of us have problems that we can't solve. All of us have problems that we don't really want to talk about problems that keep us in the shadows, problems that keep us kind of flitting from solution to solution. And uh, as we try one solution, it doesn't work. We try another solution and it doesn't work. And uh, the problem is never fully resolved until we come to Jesus, we bring it into the light. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be shared with everybody out in public. But it does mean that we need to bring to Jesus what's really going on inside so that he can touch it and make it whole. So anyway, hope these thoughts are helpful to you. For those of you who are subscribers to Inner Wealth, uh, we are going to be talking this coming weekend about uh, uh, paradigm shifts, how they transform us, give us insight, and empower us to grow. So looking forward to that. Thanks so much. Have a super day.